workers at the station are cold. It's deserted. What happened to the troop station there? Unknown, but no fuel means no fleet presence in this theater. The enemy will operate unchecked. I need you to get in there, find out what's going on, and get those reactors back online. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back. We're here with more adventures of Commander Shepard and Mass Effect 3. All right, we just completed our adventures on Rannoch. And we have united the Quarians and the Geth. And we have both of their forces to fight with us against the Reapers, and it's time to leave. All right, we also received word from the Asari Counselor. Uh-oh, what's this? Project Overlord Base. Well, it's in the way. On the way. Let's head there. I think this may be part of the EGM mod let me try a scan i found something uh-oh and reapers is this more fuel <laughs> oh gosh when are you gonna find something interesting Edie? okay let's go Commander, I'm getting a lot of readings here. Oh, boy. Alright, we're gonna enter orbit. This is a nice touch, this music here. What have we got? Alright, I'm not reading AI. I believe I read it in Mass Effect 2. Let's just start the scanner. As the Normandy arrives, Edie makes an announcement over the CIC's comm channel. Shepard, I do not detect any human life signs at the, at the Cerberus facility. However, the AI are broadcasting a message and are trying to contact us. They appear fully sentient and want to negotiate. They do not appear actively hostile, although it is not clear what happened to their human technicians. The EMP will result in their being wiped completely, although their hardware will remain intact and could be used to install new software code. The N7 squadrons are being deployed in the Normandy's wake, and without disabling the defenses they will be vulnerable. What would you like to do, Commander? Oh my goodness, really? We'll let Edie negotiate. All right. So we now have Cerberus AI. I know this is going to bite me in the... Beep! Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. But well done, I must say. Mod author, EGM, well done. And the, the music is still playing. Okay, look. Look how it just gently fades out. Okay. We are going to continue back to the Citadel. Good, that's... Uh oh we have... Oh, no, we have several things lit. Find artifacts. Fuel reactors. All right, let's find these artifacts. Commander, battles were fought here. We might be able to learn something. Yeah, but when I scan, what's going to happen? Signal confirmed. All right. We did get some Reaper activity. 
So this is Karshan. Karshan, the Batarian homeworld, is wrapped in less mystery than in outright lies. Batarian propaganda claims the world has 15 billion inhabitants and an economy that rivals the Asari. Although the legal slave trade does boost the Batarians' profits somewhat, Citadel sanctions have left a paper tiger of an empire, one that fights rivals through deniable terrorist actions rather than the wars of its heyday centuries ago. The Reapers will likely be the death blow to that empire. Although no information has escaped Karshan since the Reapers destroyed the Kambuis, the Batarian refugees say that resistance has created a bond among the commoners. If a new government can rise from the ashes, that bond may sustain a new Batarian society. Starting Scanner. Pillars of Strength. Okay, I know this was, somebody wanted these, I think, on the Citadel. All right. Oh no, there's more assets, and we have a, a, a Reaper alert. Oh, okay. Fuel? Yes. Much needed, too. And what have we got here? On the planet Vurush. Vurush is a hydrogen helium gas giant named for an ancient Batarian monarch whose empire spanned continents. He had such a penchant for mating that 0.6% of modern Batarians claim to trace their lineage to him. The planet's moons are named after his many recognized wives, the largest, Bira, concerned concealed Prothean ruins that helped the Batarians develop FTL travel. It is a Batarian point of pride that since the ruins were damaged by earthquakes, they had less information to go on than other spacefaring species. The Reapers have all the Reapers have destroyed all obvious military outposts in Varesh orbit. The Batarians' notorious secrecy, however, may have allowed concealed subterranean facilities on Varesh moons to survive. All right, let's scan. Oh, a weapon upgrade kit. Okay, thank you. All right, so in the Har Harsa cluster, we have scanned it. Wait, there's more. Okay. But this particular cluster has been scanned. I guess we have to go here to Untrail. I found something. Oh my goodness, I don't we're gonna barely escape the Reapers. Right, more fuel. Not enough, though. All right, a deck. A deck is a brutally hot and wet garden world covered with mold and lichen analogs. It has many viruses and bacteria lethal to Batarian physiology. The hegemony colonized a deck early in its expansion, but few of the colonists wanted to stay. The result was domination by a class of land slave owners, a small cadre of well-paid engineers and skilled laborers kept the planet's mechs and infrastructure functioning. Alliance estimates put the, pl put the planet's Batarian population at just over 6 million, but that number has likely fallen since the Reapers arrived. Beginning scan. Okay, we got some credits. Nice. And 10,000 at that. That's not shabby. 
Alright, so we need to... Oh, we still have not found the artifacts. They're down here in Vular. And we're running out of fuel, too. Please, I hope the Reapers aren't in this area. Signal confirmed. Woo! Okay. Oh, they're gonna find us. I just know it. All right, Vana, the planet Vana, a large rock planet. Vana is covered in prodigious amounts of dry ice, leaving only thin traces of gas for its atmosphere. Uranium deposits drew Batarian miners to Vana long ago, and when it was exhausted, they moved on to its magnesium. The Reapers have exterminated the colony here, punching holes in the dome cities and leaving its occupants to XS. Fixiate. Mm, that's horrible. <laughs> All right, here we go. Black market artifacts. All right. Vular does not give me a percentage of completion, and we're leaving. I'm not scanning again. All right, Indris, I think, is our last stop. We may not make it home, folks. Our fuel level is dangerously low. All right, um, there's something here. Let's scan over here. I found something. Okay, and there was nothing there, but it's here. Is this fuel? Because we're going to need it. Yes, thank you. Uh, that's it? Wow, so what's this over here? Caver Station? Alliance Intelligence reports that there was once a sizable military space station trailing Hibba that was tasked with arming and refueling ships to repel pirates, slave revolts, and foreign invasion. The Reapers wasted little time in destroying it during their conquest of Kamala. Okay. All right, we've got all our assets. Let's get out of here. We don't want to alert the Reapers. Oh, no. We only have 85% of the assets. All right, well, so be it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to continue on. I think we got what we needed here, so let, let's just go. Yep, it's not flashing, so I'm good. Uh, what have we got here? Fuel reactors. I think this might be an N7 mission. Why not? We can always do the Citadel later. Sion, is that how we pronounce it? Signal confirmed. And that's not where we're going? Hanalee? What have we got here? Early survivors of Hanalee dismissed its resource potential, saying it had more heat than a planet needs and more argon than a galaxy would buy. As an enormous terrestrial planet buried under merciless atmospheres of argon, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide, Hanalee hosted only small orbital stations that were primarily scientific in nature. The facilities have since been destroyed by the Reapers. It's like, what haven't the Reapers destroyed? All right, we have the Asari cruiser Sa Sabian, Sabian has been discovered. All right, so let's go over here to Sion. All right, and this is a Garden World's claim to military fame is that it was assaulted repeatedly during the Krogan rebellions, but never occupied by more than token forces the Asari cut off the Krogan supply line at the Citadel Relay and drove the invaders out. Today, antimatter generators on the surface 
and in orbital stations provide fuel for military starships throughout Asari space. The matriarchs defending the planet today have vowed to maintain Sion's legacy. They pledge it will fall to no enemy, organic or synthetic. All right, let's get a landing party together. And I don't know what we're going to be up against. Can we cycle his appearance? What else has Javik got? All right, we'll go with the the darker color. All right, I'm going with a biotic squad. Hopefully, we won't run into too much opposition below. All right, keeping the armor. And I do need to check the armor because we've gotten quite a few new pieces. Something's going on here with my... um set up. I keep losing my rifle here. Alright. Confirm that. I've got some more points here. I think I'm going to put it into barrier. Hmm. Wow. To already lifted targets. Yeah, I don't know if they're always going to be lifted, though. Let's go ahead and have more, more uh, grenades. All right, so, Caden. Let's give you some more overload. Neural shock or recharge speed? Recharge speed. And let's see, what have we got here for you? Pull or slam? Pull or slam. <laughs> wow. I guess we'll go with slam. I mean, we've seen pull. Increase force, impact radius. So this means we could, like, slam more than one person at a time? Well, let's do that. All right, here we go. I don't think I checked everyone's weapons. Oh, well. Shepard, about 72 hours ago, the reactors at a joint Turin Asari fuel depot went offline. Scans at the station are cold. It's deserted. What happened to the troop station there? Unknown, but no fuel means no fleet presence in this theater. The enemy will operate unchecked. I need you to get in there, find out what's going on, and get those reactors back online. Captain Riley's on site doing preliminary recon. She leads one of our top engineering teams. We'll get to the bottom of this, Admiral. Good, hack it out. Commander, Corporal Nyrek reporting. Captain Riley is on point waiting for you. All right, meet with Riley. So this is another one of the multiplayer maps. Is this Captain Riley? No, Confirm just a soldier. Okay, well, thank you for that information. I would have walked down there and died. We need a radiation workaround, soldier. On it, ma'am. Here's Captain Riley. Captain Riley? Commander, it's an honor. Commander, Captain Riley has me scanning the facility. It's a dual reactor system, so you'll have to break up into two teams. Roger that. The fuel rods for both reactors need to be unlocked before we can initiate a restart. Your route is blocked. Captain Riley's man is working to clear the obstacles. Understood, Lieutenant. Good work, Coslo. I'll take it from here. What do they mean, two teams? I can't take my squad with me? Ready your team to hit reactor two, Captain. Got it. Oh, okay. Um, so we can't go down there, according to what they're telling me. This stuff is poisonous. Alright, let's activate the crane. Oh, is this a little mini puzzle? I think I recall. We have to clear this. Wait, what's this? Alright, 4,000 credits. Thank you. Uh... Okay, here we go. Captain. Something's not right here. No 
more waiting. Take the fight to them. Just stay sharp, people. Did I clear what needed to be cleared? No. You guys need to calm down. Just calm down. Alright, where are we with this? I gotta... Proceed. Let's go. I have a visual on the fuel rod control, but radiation is blocking access. Same situation here. I'll find a way to vent the area. All right. Do we have some controls? Vent sector A1. This looks like ventilation control. Should do the trick. Radiation clearing. Console now accessible. Sector is Let's unlock those fuel rods. Um, Caden, why don't... Wow. Why is Caden grayed out? Yeah, put up a barrier, too. Caden. Oh! Okay. Alright, well, he had it up, and he just exploded it. What's this? All right, three thousand credits. System ready. Fuel rods unlocked here. Wait a minute. Commander, Captain, tracking movement in your areas. Defensive positions. Enemy inbound. We're ready for them. This? Oh, it's just a med kit. You'll both have to seal all the moderator tanks. I see the reactor two tanks moving to seal. All right, Caden's got his barrier up now. Okay, I think the tanks are on this side over here. start the reactor we will collect this 3,000 credits let's just do a save so we don't have to start over at the beginning in case this goes sour initiating restart There's a barrier generator down here, people. Oh. I see another barrier generator. Caden, cryoblast.
Oh, I missed my opportunity. Caden, it's on you. Overload. for the dark channel. Sending okay. help. One of my people is coming. Roger that. Um, wow. I like working with both of them. Uh, I'm going to send Caden, though. Caden, bring him home. Absolutely. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, shoot. You're supposed to go over. Okay, now now singularity is just being stubborn. There we go. You're clear for the moment, Commander. Okay, are we... Captain Riley. Uh oh. What about Kate? Nothing, Commander. No one's answering my hail. Are we supposed to come in here? The point. Finalize the restart, then we can rendezvous there. Okay. Will do. All right. Initiate final startup. Let me make sure I got enough bullets here or thermal clips. All right, Javik. Here we go. Restart is complete. Reactor fully powered and operational, Commander. All right. I suppose we can go through here without dying. Get to the evacuation point, excavation point, extraction point, whatever it's called. I think we've covered everything. I guess we've got all the mods and upgrades. Just did not check this area over here. Check this far side over here. Hmm. Oh, look at this medical treatment plan. Treatment plan for chemical burns. This is pretty detailed. And anything else? Oh, look at this Rosenkov materials chest plate. Pays to salvage, scavenge, whatever you want to call it. And look here. Here's Caden. Barriers up. Captain Commander, Riley. You saved our asses. My team is in your debt. All right. Looks like we can leave. Let's go, people. Job well done. Report back to the shuttles.
Good work down there, Shepard. Without that depot, the entire theater would be at risk. What are the odds the Reapers will be back? I'm allocating a task force to maintain and defend the facility. If the Reapers come back, we'll be ready. I read Captain Raleigh's report. It says she and her team wouldn't have made it without you. I'm glad I could help. I'll keep you posted on new developments. Hack it out. Okay. Oh, and we got 10,000 more credits on top of the credits that we got when we were down there. And the other exploration missions that we were on where we got credits. So we should be rolling in money and credits. All right. Well, that's going to be it. So on the way to the Citadel, this happened. But in our next episode, we have no choice but to go to the Citadel because there are no other areas that are lit up for us to explore. So next time, it's Shepard on the Citadel, and this is Hill, and I'm out.